All right, welcome back. So let's have a look at Marathon Digital. Today it's down 8.5%, $19.73. That's where it closed below all the support levels that I was watching recently, $20, $22. Last time we covered this name, it was trading, um, well, pre-holiday, um, 24 something. So pretty big down day actually for considering where it came down from these recent highs if we just measure this drop for the past at least like three trading sessions negative 20 percent that's a pretty big move but if you consider that it was sitting at this level at this very level like four or five trading sessions back you can say that it's just the round trip and doing nothing volume considerably low yesterday a lot a lot low twice below than its average and today as well so <clears throat> thanks to BTC, I guess this is down significantly. BTC was down 5%. So um, another thing, if you want to have like macro idea of like what's up with this business, I was watching their CEO talk with Dev, David Lin. If you guys know this guy, um, let me bring it down a little bit. This guy, check it out. He brings a lot of CEOs. He talks to them. He goes to places uh, to chat with these guys. And Marathon Digital CEO was talking about in general, like the business and how BTC was a little bit ahead of its schedule and, and they were expecting this move closer to the uh, November, December, but it came right here, right now. So I'm, in, I'm still in the camp that BTC, like anytime any asset goes to all-time highs like this and chops, not chops, it just trades with big range, doesn't have any uh, clear direction. That's what it is BTC doing for the past month or so. That's a sign of a local top uh, in any asset. Uh, you can take a look at um, NVIDIA, which is doing exactly the same thing. But I'm watching for BTC possibly test 50-day moving average around like 58, 59. Uh, that would be the support. But going into halving, I was looking at the maximum pain for Marathon, which is I'm looking at April 19th. Uh, it's 19 bucks. There's a lot of calls about to expire and there's a lot of puts about to be expired. So 19 bucks, it's maximum pain. But if it does slip below 19, Marathon Digital can go all the way to test its 200 day moving average. Because right here, right now, well, again, below its five day, anytime stock slips below five day or 20 day, I am neutral to bearish. It was uptrending right here. It was solid until it broke 22 yesterday and then $20 today. So that's a pretty uh, big trend change local, at least ultra short term right here right now, uh, which means there are a lot of people back holding the stock at these levels and they're putting pressure anytime it tries to move. A lot of people are like, okay, I'm happy with breaking even or I'm happy with slight loss. Let me sell and get out. But that could be something happening with this name. And that's typically happened with many, many names. So 1574, that's the 200-day moving average. That's what I will be watching for Marathon going forward, uh, basically for the rest of April to possibly test this level. But before that, 18 bucks, these local supports were bounced like for four consecutive days it held this level so 18 that's next level of support for marathon but resistance levels are these 20 bucks 22 bucks so it can definitely hover chop in these ranges and uh do absolutely nothing and just turn burn, burn premium but today a lot of options traded again 143,000 calls were traded versus 55,000 puts but most of the these calls that came in are just outside of the money, like 37%, 27%. Like there's not much uh, with Delta in the money calls or puts being traded, only 1%. So that means a lot of retail trading it. And uh, I'm just watching this name to the downside right here right now, or just pretty much chop around, kill a lot of premium because implied volatility still high. And it typically trades with high implied volatility, but it's very high. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.